Hey guys, this is probably the most asked topic when it comes to owning parrots, so I thought I'd talk about it. Here are seven tips on how to stop your bird from biting, also why your bird would bite you in the first place, and how to avoid getting bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more bird-related content like this, and also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Now let's get into it. Before I tell you how to stop your birds from biting, it's essential to understand why birds bite in the first place. Parrots use their beaks for a number of reasons, like exploring things in their environment, as a third leg to climb up things, and as another way of communicating, especially with us. Now parrots very rarely will bite each other in the wild, and the only scenario where parrots would attack another parrot and make them bleed is if they were fighting for or defending a nest. Instead of biting, parrots in the wild will display aggressive behavior to protect what they have like a desirable perch, food, maybe their mate, and also their territory. And usually other birds will take the hint and back off and fly away. Like wild parrots, parrots in captivity will similarly display various signs and behaviors to express what they feel and if you don't pick up on what your bird is trying to tell you, it will likely result in you getting bit. And at home or in captivity, some parrots will learn to bite because of a learned behavior or out of instinct. Birds will bite out of instinct for a few reasons like out of fear, protecting what is theirs, curiosity, and hormones. If your bird is fearful and you're forcing it to do something it doesn't want to do, it will bite you because it likely can't fly to escape and will attack instead in self-defense and as a last resort. Parrots can also bite to defend their territory, whether it be their cage, food, toys, or the person that they like or see as their mates. Young birds will bite new things out of curiosity and to explore what it is, so your fingers and hands could be something they aren't used to yet, and it could be something that they're still trying to figure out. Birds will tend to bite a bit more when they are hormonal, which is usually during the warmer months or during breeding season. Birds will also bite because it's a learned behavior that you may have accidentally taught them. Parrots can learn that biting you every time you try to remove them off of the play gym when they're having fun, or the top of the cage or someone's shoulder will get you to stop and leave them alone. Or if you use your hands as a form of punishment every time your bird does something that you don't approve of or something you deem as bad, it will become defensive almost every time you approach it with your hands. And when you don't pay attention to your bird's body language or if you repeatedly force your bird to do things, you're inadvertently teaching your bird that they have to bite you in order to get you to stop. Now these are just the general reasons why your bird would bite, so to understand why they bite you, you really have to pay attention to what you're specifically doing to cause them to bite, which I will explain in a minute. Now moving on to the tips. So the first tip to get your bird to stop biting you, and I feel like this gets overlooked a lot, is to form a positive relationship or bond with your bird. Forming a relationship with your bird is really the foundation to having and building trust with your bird and knowing your bird's personality and quirks, their wants and needs, understanding their body language, and viewing your bird as a friend or companion rather than a pet are all really important factors to understanding the reason your bird bites and to avoid getting bitten. If you don't have a good relationship with your bird, then it will be harder for you to understand why they bite you when they do. To build a good relationship with your bird, you need to spend time bonding with your bird. Include them in your daily activities when you can. Provide them with lots of mental stimulation through training, forging, and having a variety of toys. Building a relationship with your bird takes time, so don't expect it to bond with you right away, especially if you just got your bird. In part of forming a good relationship with your bird is learning to respect your bird's space and boundaries, which leads me to my second tip of not forcing your bird to do things. A lot of people have that mindset to dominate their bird, to force them to do things that you want, and the important thing to remember is that birds will not do things that they don't want to do. If you repeatedly force your bird to do things, you'll eventually get bit. So if you're guilty of this, change your mindset and think of your bird as your friend. You wouldn't want to force your friend to do things for you, right? Instead of forcing your bird to do things to the point where they'll submit to you, simply ask them, wait for their response, and give them a chance to think on their own and make a decision because you have to remember that parrots are intelligent animals. Which leads me to my third tip. Observe their body language and behavior when you're asking them to do things. Learning how to read or understand parrot body language and behavior is key to avoid getting bit because that is your bird's way of communicating their feelings with you. If you're not familiar with parrot body language and behavior, then you'll miss the really important signs of when your bird is repeatedly trying to tell you and warn you that you are overstepping a boundary and biting you will be their last way of getting the message across. You should be looking out for any signs of oncoming aggression like raising their head feathers, fanning out tail feathers, 
open beaks or growling in signs of fear like widening of the eyes, feathers slick against their body, and physically moving their body away from you. Sometimes the way your bird responds to you will be really subtle that you might miss it, so you really have to pay close attention. And if your bird seems aggressive or fearful, then that's your sign to back off and give your bird some space. My fourth tip to getting your bird to stop biting you is using positive reinforcement. If you need your bird to do something that instant, like going back inside of the cage, instead of scooping your bird up forcefully and risk getting bit while shoving them back inside the cage, lure them into the cage with a treat instead. You could either put your bird's favorite treat into their food bowl and have them go in on their own, or you could also turn it into a fun activity or training exercise. What I like to do is have Penny or Pumpkin either spin or wave hello or recall train just before asking them to go into the cage and onto a specific perch before handing them a treat. I like doing this because it makes it really fun and engaging for them and it makes them look forward to going back inside of their cage. You can also use positive reinforcement to bond with your bird. If you don't have a great relationship with your bird now or if you just got your bird, have some treats on you at all times. Maybe keep them in your pockets and every time you approach your bird, just give them a treat. Your bird will start to realize that every time you come around, they'll get a treat and then after a while you can slowly remove the treats and your bird will eventually associate you with good things. Positive reinforcement is your friend, so use it when you can, and you could also consider trick training. Trick training is great because it's fun for you and your bird, and it provides another form of engagement. You also don't want to forget to reinforce good behavior. You don't always have to give them a treat. It could be anything that your bird really likes, like their favorite toy, scratches, or even cuddles. Tip number five is to stop blaming your bird for biting you and start looking at and thinking of your actions before and after your bird bites you. This is something that I was guilty of and I'm sure you guys can relate if you've done this too. Instead of blaming your bird, think of what happens before and after your bird bit you. Were you doing something that scared or angered your bird that caused them to bite you or did you not realize that you did something that upset them and then they bit you so you put them back in their cage? Maybe you forgot to spend some quality time with your bird so they bit you to get your attention. You have to remember that birds will bite for a reason so take responsibility and also take a deeper look at your actions and you'll start to realize or figure out that hey it seems like every time I do this my bird ends up biting me. Once you figure out the reason your bird is biting you you can avoid doing that action in the future and think of a workaround. Moving on to my sixth tip which is to be like a bird and think like a bird and this tip will teach your bird to stop biting you instead it will teach them to not bite so hard and to use less pressure. I'm sure you've probably heard of the your hand method, blowing on their face or putting them back in the cage for a quick time out and I've tried these methods myself and sure these methods might stop your birds from biting you in that instance but it doesn't really teach them that biting is not okay. Uh, now this is something that I've learned from observing pineapple and pumpkin and birds at pet stores. Sometimes when they're preening each other and you might even notice this yourself if you're preening your bird and you're helping them out with their pin feathers that they will scream a little if you or your other bird is preening way too hard or if their pin feathers are too sensitive and then the bird or you will stop and back off before continuing again but this time the other bird or you will be a little bit more gentle. If birds scream to let each other know that they're being too rough then it only makes sense to react the same way so your birds get the message. Younger birds tend to be nippier because they're still learning and exploring things around them so this is a great way to teach your bird not to bite as hard. When your bird is on your hand and is being really nippy, scream right when they bite you and then put them down and walk away. Now only try this if you already have a bond with your bird because your bird will notice that the fun stops and you will leave whenever they bite too hard. That's why it's really important to take the time to develop a good relationship with your bird first before doing this. Otherwise, if your bird doesn't like you, then you're only teaching it that biting you will make you go away. And with training, it will take lots and lots of patience and repetition. So be consistent if you're going to try this method. My last and final tip Tip number seven is to consider your bird's health and their environment. Birds may lash out if they're not feeling so well, so if you notice any signs that your bird is sick, like if they've lost some weight, if their poop looks a little different, or they don't seem like themselves, then go to your avian vet to rule out any underlying illnesses. Your bird's environment could also have an effect on their behavior, so check if your bird's cage is clean, and also see if you're providing enough enrichment in their daily routine, and if your bird is getting an adequate amount of sleep, 
especially when they're becoming more hormonal. If your bird gets a lot of mental stimulation throughout the day, then they will be happy and content and less likely to lash out on you or being bored. Basically, all seven of these tips on how to stop your bird from biting you kind of intertwine and the key takeaway is to establish a good relationship with your bird and by making sure that they have an enriching environment, you'll start to teach yourself things that your bird doesn't like and more importantly, be able to read their body language and understand when they tell you to back off so you avoid getting bit. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video if you did and also comment down below and let me know why your bird bites you. Thank you guys so so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!